Welcome back to Daytime. Well, it's the summertime and we're slipping off the boots and slipping into sandals. And to tell us more about how to make sure we have the right sandal for our foot, I'm looking at you. I know you're buying that $2 pair and you know that that's not good for you. Please welcome Alicia Underhill. You're here from Biopeds. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Now, you know, I got to say, I know I'm scolding people at home. I'm guilty of it myself. We all pick up that, you know, under $10 pair. Probably not the right thing to do for our feet, is it, Alicia? No, but <laughs> you and everybody else that I talked to has done it at one point in their life. And most of them have learned their lesson at, at some point, some earlier than others. Mm -hmm. So really, um, it's, it's, all, it's all prevention. You can do a lot for yourself if you don't buy those. That, that's right. Now, you know, speaking about prevention, we've got to talk about kids for a second because I know I'm shopping for my nieces and nephews and it's really hard to find them a good structured pair of sandals. It definitely is and kids are some of the hardest, uh, shop it's the hardest shoe shopping there is. There aren't a lot of shoe options as well as sandals, even less for sandals. So there are companies like Keen um, and Birkenstock that make some good solid sandals for kids. But if you just can't find those for yours, your, your children, we can actually modify the shoes and, and the sandals and add some arch to support to them. So there are options instead mm -hmm. of just saying, oh, I can't find it, there's nothing out there. Mm -hmm. So, okay, back to the adults then for a second. We need something with good arch support. So a lot of those sandals I'm seeing, they're completely flat. Yes. So do we just throw those away? <laughs> what do we do? In most cases you do, and it, it depends on what you're experiencing. If you're comfortable in those flats and you have no history in your family of foot problems, maybe you'll be okay. And a lot of patients say, you know, I was fine until I, you know, twisted my ankle three weeks ago. And some people can get away with that, but more people can't. Mm -hmm. And so you're looking for something that has some decent, decent arch support. The thing that to look at as well is the stability of the shoe. So you shouldn't really be able to fold a shoe in half. And you know that if you pick up that $5 flip-flop, you can just bend that thing any mm -hmm. way you want. So you want it to be structurally sound as well. Okay. You are, you're also looking for some arch support through here. So you're looking for arch there, but also in the metatarsal region. So if you have pain in the ball of your foot, it's more important to have the support here. Mm -hmm. If you have pain through your arch, the arch support is really important. Mm -hmm. Now I'm noticing when I'm looking at most of these sandals, a lot of them are not that thong style. Is that bad for your foot or is it okay? It's okay. Um, generally that's personal preference. Some people really look for something between your toe. And up until recent years, there really hasn't been something with support that went between your toe. Other than that though, I mean the only reason um, that you wouldn't put something there is if you had a corn or something between your first and second toe. Mm -hmm. So when it comes to sandals, you know, I'm always looking for something that's comfortable that I can wear all day, walk all day at the beach or when I'm going to Wonderland or things like that. So you want something comfortable. What are some other things that we're looking for? Um, well, you want a little bit of heel height. So you don't want the heel to be at the same position as the ball of your foot. So that's going to loosen off everything up the backs of your legs. So you're not going to have that tension in your legs all day. Some of the things you might be looking for, um, you wouldn't want to necessarily stick with something that's leather. Uh, at a water park at Wonderland, that's not going to be appropriate. <laughs> at the cottage, that's not on the dock, that's not going to be so appropriate. So we actually um, have started to carry these sandals here. They're sole flip-flops, mm -hmm. and they come with the toe thong, if you like, or they also come with a band so that they're just slide on. And these are great around water. Um, there's a great arch support to them. They have a nice soft heel, and they're great for use every day. There are people, though, that still require some kind of support around the heel. Right. Well, that's what I wanted to ask, because you think about sandals, it's always that easy shoe that you can just sort of slip on, right? How important is that fit to make sure your foot doesn't move? It depends on, on what you're dealing with. So generally, young people can get away with something that's not so locked down. Mm -hmm. um, in, a, in a shoe like this, people usually mention, you know, I only like things that slip on or I only like things with a back strap and in most cases that experience um, is already there. Now if we're dealing with a case where we have a lot of uh, motion in the foot that we want to control, we're definitely going to want to have a back strap on it. But if it's something that's rather mild, we can go with something that's slip on. Mm -hmm. Now I have to admit, looking at this table, we're starting to get a little bit more stylish with our footwear because normally when you go to those stores that sell great shoes that are good quality shoes that are not flexible are going to hold and support your foot, yes. not so pretty looking. I'm just saying. So we're finally starting to get there because these are kind of cute. Yeah, I mean, 
It's come a long way. Um, there are new companies coming out all the time. I think generally because the awareness is going out there about how important it is, how important your feet are. And some of these, I mean, you may not think from looking at it on the table here that they look nice, but when they're on the foot, they actually look cool. They, they, they would, nobody would know. Mm -hmm. Now, I have to ask you, I know we have to run a quick commercial break in just a second here. Socks and sandals coming from Biopad, you know, you, you deal with feet all the time. Is this a no-no for the summertime? This is a no-no for the summertime. <laughs> <laughs> you can That's use, Christian yelling. <laughs> you can use them in the house. There that, you go. We, we let Dad go. use them in the house. I would say it's a no-no for any time, but that's just my personal thing. Maybe first year college. That's yeah, the only time maybe. I wear socks and sales. Maybe. Well, Alicia, we got to thank you so much. Go out and get yourself a good, well-constructed pair. And go visit Biopet. We'll put all the information on our website. And lots more daytime when we return. Please stay with us.